Dr. Howe. Today, to talk to you about our 2016 products. If you think about Computex, it really is the center of the universe when we talk about PCs, gaming, new technologies. So today, we're going to talk about a number of things. Our mission in our company is really about building great products. And if you look at our history, we've always brought out those products that change the industry, starting with the world's first 64-bit x86 architecture, going to the world's first integrated high-performance CPU and GPU into APUs. If you like game consoles today, practically every game console you buy has an AMD APU in it, over 50 million units already sold in this generation. And last year, we introduced, actually at Computex, we showed our first high bandwidth memory graphics chip, and again, another first in the industry. The first challenge we took was, how do we bring real VR to the first 100 million consumers? So imagine a world where tens of millions of consumers can only read about incredible PC VR experiences, but can't enjoy them for themselves. Why is that? because only 1% of the 1.43 billion PCs out there can do VR today. Majority of the gamers buy graphics between $100 to $300. So we wanted to deliver a high performance, low cost, low power solution to democratize VR. We have a product that just does that. And Without further ado, this is the Radeon RX 480 that delivers VR to the masses. And the best thing about it is premium VR starting at $199. And this card, this card is beautifully built. It actually is built like a $500 premium card. If you look at the, the design of it, the thermal solution of it, the, the airflow of it are all designed as a really, really expensive high-end card. You can see these designs in our premium cards from the last generation. So we brought a premium design and a premium quality experience to affordable price ranges. So that is ready on RX480. And the specification of the card based on what the content developers are going to tune for over the next three to four years. So we didn't make it a card that is just for this year. This is a card for the next three to four years with our deep understanding of the content pipeline, what, what is coming. It is also our most power efficient GPU ever. It's up to 2.8x performance per watt improvement over our prior generation. So wait, I spoke about VR, but what about gaming? Radeon RX series also delivers powerful gaming. As you all know, we have been pioneering gaming APIs. We have invested in Mantle, which inspired DirectX 12. We started this investment several years ago, and they are paying off. Hardware is only half the story about PC gaming. Software is more than half the story. It's amazing to see the, the kind of D D DirectX 12 performance on, on these cards. You'll also see today some really, really interesting Vulkan performance. Along with DX12 and Vulkan, we also have the AMD FreeSync to deliver smooth frame rates. The asynchronous compute feature of the GCN architecture, we have more and more titles taking advantage of this feature and delivering substantial frame rate advantage or, or our competition. So this card is designed to run premium gaming experiences like Battlefield 1 that you're watching in the back. So wait, this is a season for Doom, right? So no um, video card launch can be complete without something about Doom. So let's um, watch what the developers of the Doom software, the Doom game, have to say about Polaris. Let's roll the video, please. 
Thanks for having us, and we're sorry we can't be there in person, but we're back here today working on a number of updates for Doom, and specifically Doom running on Vulkan. Vulkan is a modern API with roots in AMD's Mantle technology, and it provides real benefits to both us as developers and the large community of gamers using a wide range of hardware. For us, we can run much closer to the metal, which directly translates to speed. Speed is king, and we anticipate this breathing new life into older graphics cards already in the market, as well as providing 200 frames per second plus on modern high-end cards. Where this really starts to shine is with a new chipset like Polaris. Polaris is affordable, has ultra-low power consumption, and runs Doom very fast. Gamers can look forward to a buttery smooth experience in Doom on Polaris, supporting a wide range of hardware and gamer budgets. Bottom line is, you're not going to need a $700 video card to enjoy Doom at fantastic frame rates. are live cards running two systems one system is seven hundred dollars I'll tell you what the other system price is in a second both running a premium DX12 experience ashes of singularity and uh, the one on the right is the seven hundred dollar solution okay and the one on the left is something much better I'll tell you what it is in a second. And as you can see, both kind of, you know, sort of seem to deliver, you know, similar performance. You know, maybe if you're some of the people with really crazy eyes who can spot millisecond differences on, 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 on screen, maybe you'll be able to figure, it, figure out the precise frame rates. So let's see actually what, what frame rates these, these things are running and uh, what uh, performance they're delivering. So, you have the $700 solution delivering 58.7 FPS. You can call it kind of reasonably smooth, 60 FPS, close to 60 FPS. And we have a dual 480 delivering 62.5 frames per second, but that's not the story. The story is the dual 480 costs below $500. And that's not even the half of the story because the dual 480 is actually only being utilized 51%. It has more headroom versus the $700 solution, which is sweating, right? 98.7% fully occupied. So we have much, much more headroom as the developer tunes for the new APIs and as we tune the drivers for the new Polaris GPU. So that brings to conclusion my Polaris unveil today. And Polaris architecture is a giant, giant step forward for PC gaming and VR. So whether it's uh, general purpose processing, uh, graphics processing, processing for video streaming, for audio, memory controller, we pull together an incredible amount of technology into a device that's over three billion transistors. Um, this, uh, this, product, uh, this product line spans all the way from the premium segments, so premium notebooks, all-in-ones, to the value-oriented segment as well. And if you're doing video streaming or playback on a seventh generation AMD series processor, it's an amazing experience. And that's partially because some of, the, some of the technology that we've integrated into the device itself at the hardware level. So we have specific accelerators to make sure that 4K video streaming is amazingly smooth, energy efficient. Uh, also, you know, gaming, uh, that's a huge passion for us in AMD. Uh, the gaming technology that uh, is in our discrete graphics, we also integrate in our mobile processors as well. 
So I just want to give you an example of uh, gaming and some of the uh, technology advantage we have here. So if you look at that newest seventh generation series FX processor uh, versus the Intel Core i7, you're getting 50% more graphics performance from an AMD FX processor than our competitor. So let's see just a couple of examples of this. I wanna, the first example I wanna show is a 4K video streaming example. This will show you how uh, 4K video streaming on an AMD processor is incredibly smooth and power efficient. Legends is one of the most popular esports games out there. Tens of millions of people play every day. Uh, a game like League of Legends plays fantastic on the new AMD processor. Let's take a look at that smooth gaming experience. So we're also focused on productivity. We want those AMD customers to finish their work as fast as possible so we can get back to those immersive experiences. So over the last couple generations, we've introduced a tremendous amount of improvement in our processor performance. With the seventh generation series processor, we're now 50% higher CPU performance than we were just a couple years ago. And that translate direct, translates directly into productivity improvement. So if you look at, uh, Excel uh, file crunching or, or spreadsheets, that's now 28% faster. If you look at uh, photo editing or uh, file compression, that's now over 40% better. So that CPU innovation is translating into real productivity gains. Now the real challenge is to deliver that immersive technology and that, uh, and that productivity improvement, but to continue to do that in an ever increasing uh, energy efficiency. So the combination of the performance improvement and the power efficiency improvement together from generation six to generation seven is a 25% performance per watt improvement generation over generation. That's a huge boost. <laughs> time at Computex in Taipei, I would like to introduce you to Zen. So that video was created, edited, rendered, and played back on our new desktop processor with Zen. Let me show you our Summit Ridge processor. Zen is delivering 40% more IPC than our previous generation. This product is eight cores, 16 threads, 
It is in FinFET technology, and it is integrated as part of our new AM4 desktop platform. The AM4 desktop platform is a return to desktop for our enthusiasts and our performance uh, fans. So this is Summit Ridge. But Zen for us is not just about one product, and it's not just about one segment. Zen for us is a new high-performance CPU that scales across multiple, multiple market segments. We're starting first in the desktop, and we showed you Summit Ridge. We are also in our Bring Up Labs working very, very hard on the Bring Up of our server version of Zen, and that is also going very well. And then as we bring the high-performance CPU to life, we're also going to integrate Zen with our high-performance graphics in our next generation APUs. So after Bristol Ridge, you will see integrated APUs with Zen and our GPU architecture. Zen is extremely exciting. We're still early in the bring up, but we feel very good about what we, where we are. You will see much more from us over the next number of months as we go towards launch and talk about what we're doing with our customers. Radeon RX GPUs, $100 to $300 price points, enabling a new segment for VR. Premium gaming experiences. Seventh generation mobile APUs shipping today. And then the most exciting piece I would say is Zen is alive. Zen is on track. And we are extraordinarily excited about what Zen will bring to the marketplace. We are a high performance technology company. We want to share our love for the products with all of our fans because we have a great year to come and great technologies to show you.